बैलेंस डाइट वट इज अ बैलेंस डाइट आर डाइट इज ऑल द फूड दैट वी ईट वी नीड टू ईट अ बैलेंस डाइट टू स्टे हेल्थी दिस मीन्स वी मस्ट ईट द राइट काइंड ऑफ फूड्स एंड इन द राइट अमाउंट To have a balanced diet, we need to eat the foods from all different food groups. The above picture shows different food groups and how we should eat of each group. In this triangle, you can see that the top of the triangle occupies a little space which has fat or oil, salt and sugar. It means we should consume these foods in the least amount. Next, after that there is milk and alternatives that's the dairy products along with meat fish egg and alternatives that's protein these must be consumed in an adequate amount then vegetables and fruits that must be consumed the most after that comes the grains which is your normal carbohydrates Let's talk about good and bad carbohydrates. We need carbohydrates to give our body energy, but not all the carbohydrates are good for us. Sugar is a carbohydrate, and many foods we like, such as cakes, candies, and cola contain a lot of sugar. But we must remember that too much sugar is not healthy for our bodies. The carbohydrates found in white bread and white rice are not as healthy as the carbohydrates in whole wheat bread and brown rice. Questions: Name one food from each group that you like to eat the most. It could be anything, but here is an example: ice cream from the sugars, egg which is a protein, apple which is a fruit rice it provides carbohydrates spinach is a vegetable and milk among the dairy products which food group should we eat the most of it's fruits and vegetables which food group should we eat least of sugary products which food group builds our muscles and help us grow protein helps us grow suggest a healthy school snack that contains a food from three of the food groups sandwich contains carbohydrates in the form of bread vegetables as salad and chicken or egg as protein water a balanced diet also includes water and fiber We need water because it has important functions in our bodies. Substances are carried around our body by being dissolved in water, including water in the blood and other body fluids. We need water for body processes such as digestion. Water in sweat cools you down. Wastes are passed out of your body in water. fiber comes from plants your body cannot completely digest most of types of fibers eating fiber helps food to pass easily through the digestive system foods that contain a lot of fiber are vegetables fruits beans lentils brown rice and whole wheat bread vitamins and minerals Vitamins and minerals are substances found in the food that we eat. Vitamins and minerals help your body to function to properly and stay healthy. Some foods have more vitamins than others. Fish and meat contains lots of vitamins and minerals. Calcium and iron are examples of minerals. Calcium makes our bones and teeth strong.
Calcium makes our bones and teeth strong. We need iron to make our body healthy. Sodium is a mineral found in salt, but too much of salt can be unhealthy for us. Now here's an activity. Work with a partner. Make a list of foods that you usually eat in a day. It could be apple, milk, egg, green leafy vegetables and cake. Now talk about these questions. Which food group or groups does each food contain? Now these foods contain fats, fruits and vegetables, protein and dairy products. Are the foods from each food group in your list? Yes. Does any of the food in your list contain fiber? Yes, apple contains fiber. How much water do you drink each day? It's 8 glasses of water. Do you think that your diet is balanced? Yes, this is a balanced diet. Think like a scientist. Draw a bar chart of food groups. Zara wants to eat noodles for lunch. She looks at the label on a packet of instant noodles. The first question is, draw a bar chart of the different food groups in noodles. Now, do you think that the instant noodles are a balanced meal for Zara? Say why or why not? No, instant noodles were not a balanced meal for Zara as it does not contain vegetables that contain vitamins and minerals. Now here's the bar graph for noodles. Fats was about 15 grams. Fiber was the least, which is about one or two grams. Carbohydrates was the highest, that was 60 grams, and protein was 10 grams. Ask a question to investigate. Starch is a carbohydrate. You have found out the starch makes iodine solution change color from yellow-brown to blue-black. Now think of a question about foods you can investigate using this knowledge. The question could be what are the starch containing foods? Plan how you would find the answer to your question by finding out which inquiry would you use. The starch test typically uses a fair testing approach. Which variable will you observe or measure? The presence of starch. What is this type of variable called? It's called dependent variable. Which variable will you keep the same? What is this type of variable called? Light, temperature and other environmental conditions will be the same and it's called control variable. Which variable will you change? What is this type of variable called? The type of food or fruit selected for starch test will be changed and it's called independent variable. Choose the materials you will use, potato and cornstarch. Now decide how you will record and present your results. Carry out the investigation and write a conclusion based on your results. Here's the sample of the activity that you could do. When you add iodine solution to the cornstarch solution, you should have noticed that the liquid inside the cup almost immediately turned dark blue or almost blackish in color. The color change happened because the iodine reacted with the starch and formed a dark blue starch or iodine complex.